that is the um, challenges, part of the challenges that you can face, you know, both as an activist and as a corporate accountability group that want to see transparency and accountability in these sectors. You know, this drives forward to the issue of the petroleum industry's view. You know, this is a law, an omnibus law, that was uh, put in place and Nigerians and the global community were, was told that with the petroleum industry's bill becoming law, all the questions and all the problems in the oil and gas sector would have been tackled, would have been answered. But in reality, was it that? No, the answer is no. And because some of us were involved in the bill from the inception till date, and we are still involved in it. Okay? Um, we got to, I reviewed the environment, health, and safety components of the petroleum industry's bill. Because what we did as civil society was to look at areas of expertise and share the document because nobody, no single group, we have the capacity to review the petroleum industry's bill. And the first thing that came to our mind is that this bill was packaged this way because one is that there is no can say that Nigerians are lazy readers. So by the time you pick the, the bill, the bulky 470 something pages, I mean, the size alone will intimidate you not to bother yourself. Where am I going to start from and where am I going to end? But creatively, we said, no, we cannot be so dismissed. Now, you are an expert in environment and related issues. You take that chapter of the bill. You are an expert in, you know, taxation matters. You take up this. You are an expert in issue of transparency and accountability. You take up this. And with that, we now dismantled the petroleum industry's bill. And reviewed it page by page, word by word. And came to the conclusion that it did not answer the Nigerian question. Okay? But even after that, somehow we made recommendations and said, well, take minimal of our recommendations. It is good for us to have a law that will advance the course rather than not having anything at all. And because the government of the day knew that Nigerians were very much eager to see the petroleum industries being passed. The corporations equally knew that and they capitalized on that sentiment to go to this works. By the time they finished with the industries under President Goodluck Jonathan, which is very unfortunate, that under him, coming from the United Delta, knowing the sufferings of his people, that, you know, he will pre to pretend or preside over a system that will throw up a petroleum industries bill that will be antithetical to the people. One would have reasonably believed that whatever is the product of that work, he's technocrats, he has good brains, some good brains that are working with him that can sit down and look at this thing and say, look, Mr. President, this and this and this and this are not good. But let's look at it that because the corporations, you know, know where the being was getting to, and because they do not want to be accountable, okay, they do not believe in corporate accountability. That is why they will talk about, uh, they will prefer to talk about, uh, you know, uh, uh, their corporate social responsibility and the rest of them, which is not existent as far as Nigeria is concerned. It's a fluke. It's a horse. It doesn't exist. Okay? Now, first, when they try all the antics on the Iradwa, it didn't work. And when they took the legislators out to fetter them in Bumerang, 
and created a lot of awareness and consciousness in the minds of Nigerians that every Nigerian had to now begin to talk about the petroleum industries and look at it, you know, they devised another tactics. And the other tactics was now to hamstring the government to say if you pass this law the way you are going, it will mean that we won't do business, we will just pack our loads and go. And if we don't do business, there will be no money for you to run your government. It wasn't a secret statement, it was an open public statement. Now, government fought out to that. And eventually, what was produced after the harmonization under Jonathan presidency became something if we had allowed it to sell through would have tied Nigeria's hands and throw us back more than 60 years ago because it would have been better for us not to have anything at all in the sector than to have that particular version of the petroleum industry and this was where um, luckily for us we got the last version that they wanted to pass and you bet that they hurriedly wanted to do it as the last assignment of the legislative life of the sixth at Nigerian National Assembly. May they wanted to pass the law May 2011 and luckily for the civil society group uh, we got hints and got the version that they were to pass. Three organizations, Environmental Rights Action, Friends of the Head Nigeria, uh, CISLAC, and uh, Social Action, the three groups that have been working on the petroleum industries bill, now mobilized and came together to review that document. And after that, we said, no, we cannot have this type of document pass as a law. And we did a policy brief on it and used it on campaigns at the National Assembly. I'll give you a copy of, it, of the document where we stated clearly what we think the type of petroleum industries bill that Nigerian people want and we respect what they should have. And we did that and we were lucky, God was on our side, that true confusion in the National Assembly and that bill was not passed. Now, it raised a lot of questions on us. For instance, I got a lot of questions from both friends and foes. You know, um, Chima, we know you and your organization, ERA, have been passionate and at the forefront of demanding for the passage of this petroleum industry bill. So what happened that you are the same person that has come to tell the National Assembly, don't pass it. I mean, and we had to do all the explanations uh, which led to me doing why does ERA not want the petroleum industry to be passed. I'll give you a copy of that document. It was published in the National Daily Full Page. Now.